Hi, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk and today I'm bringing you this cute little party favour, I guess. Um, so it's just a slide wrap for a box of Poppets toffees and I just thought this would be a great little summer treat. Um, I love all the colours that we've used here and um, I thought, you know, it could go into uh, party bags for children's parties or just a little treat to give somebody um, just to cheer them up because uh, we've got the sentiment on them that says it's a good day. Um, this is a gorgeous little camper van and it comes in uh, at the tree lot dies which are just here so these are a celebration um, bonus so uh, this is a celebration catalogue so from the 1st of July to the 31st of August if you uh, put in a qualifying order so that's normally um, either 45 pounds or 60 euros if you're in Europe and um, you can actually get free products. Some of the products are what we call um, level two. So uh, you would need to put in, for instance, the tree lot dies because they are quite a substantial free gift. Um, for this one, you'd need to spend 90 pounds or 120 euros and you'll get all of these dies. Now these dies do go with a stamp set that's in the mini catalog, which is the July to December mini catalog. And it's called the Tree Trees for Sale dies. And it's a lovely Christmas um, set. As you can see, it's got all the Christmas sentiments, but these trees can be used for anything and they do coordinate with some of these outline dies but this can also be used as a standalone because you've got these inner trees here that work with these outline dies as well so it's it's actually a brilliant um brilliant die set uh, standalone or with the trees for sale stamp set as well so i'm choosing to use it with summer vibes uh, which is why i've done this little lovely camper van just here but you can see there's lots of different examples on how to use the dies here so this is my second pack uh, of uh, the toffee poppets, which I absolutely love. Um, and I think they're a great snack, like to take to the cinema or something like that on a trip, a day trip out, as long as it's not too hot and they don't melt. Um, so yeah, a lovely, lovely little um, treat size. And um, I'm going to Zeus it up now. So this is the paper that I'm going to use because I love the red and the white um, mixed in with the blues and the greens. So um, this is actually a Christmas paper, as you can see, it's called Sweetest Christmas. But um, as I'm using the tree lot dies in an alternative summer project, I wanted to use this paper as well. So it's from the new mini catalog, which is uh, July to December. And you can see most of the patterns here are Christmassy. However, once you start getting to patterns like this, you can definitely, definitely use them outside of Christmas as well. And these ones here. So this is uh, what I'm choosing to use. Again, um, the backsides of these as well, definitely things you can use outside of Christmas. So I just wanted to show the versatility of the products. So this is my um, wrap uh, piece here for the chocolate box, the Poppets box, and it is six by three and three quarters. So on the six inch side, I'm gonna score it at two two and three quarters and four and three quarters and five and a half and that is it there's no cutting uh, there's just scoring with this and uh, die there is die cutting obviously but no cutting of the box so i'm just gonna burnish all of my score lines and then i'm gonna check that it fits around my box before I glue. So I'll just double check. And there we go. Nice little snug fit around my really cute poppets box. And that's lovely. So I will get some tear and tape and we will tape the box. Sorry, I meant to say I'm going to get some stamp and seal plus and we'll pop some just on this flap just here like this there we go just there and then we'll wrap it around the box so you can use tear and tape liquid glue anything that you want to here so this is the bit that you need to be really careful with so you need to make sure you're lining up your paper as best you can so i do this on the box because it does actually give me some resistance and then i'm going to line it up and press it down just like that and there we go 
lovely, lovely lined little poppets box just there. So and now we can decorate. So I've already pre-cut uh, my die cut pieces and I'll just show you here. It's on the original one. I've used pool party here with this sheer pool party ribbon, which I love. Uh, so that's the original one. But on this one here, I'm going to use this new seam binding ribbon in soft sea foam which I think also complements and therefore I've cut out my uh, base for my camper van that's my little mini van in the uh, soft sea foam as well to match. I've also cut the um, piece just here which stabilizes the van I've cut that out in silver and I have cut out use this piece here which makes the top and the bottom of the camper van in white just like that and then for the wheel I cut it twice so I cut the wheel in black uh, so I die cut just a little bit of black on the bottom and then I um, die cut it in silver as well and cut the middle part out to make it look a little bit like a wheel and then finally I die cut some flags out of the same paper um, with a few, got a few cute little spots on it as well, so it coordinates. So I've done that. So I'm going to glue this on. So I'm going to get out my mat, which I love, very versatile. I'll pop this just here. A tiny little bit of glue, just like that. And then I'm going to get my tweezers, and I'm just going to pick up the wheel and pop a tiny bit of glue on the back. Make sure not too much. So I'm just getting off the excess. There we go. So that side hasn't been glued a bit, so just to make sure, pick up. So just a tiny bit of glue on the back, not much. And then I'm going to pop this into place and I'm going to glue it on top of the wheel that's already there and just line it up so that it looks, you can only see the wheel, you can't see the soft sea foam. There you go. Let's press that down. So that's there. I'm going to do the same with this stabilising bar just here. I don't actually know what its proper name is. Is it an anchor or something like that? Possibly. But I know it's to stabilise the van when you're when it's static. So I'm just going to pop that on top of here and then take it off. And again, same things apply. I'm just going to press it down, make sure it lines up. There we go. And then I will pop a little bit of glue onto the back of this piece just here to put on the top of the van and it's quite a really uh, love doing nice alternative summer projects so this is quite a funky one actually isn't it because we're using what is traditionally Christmas products and making something I think is quite summery so we'll just glue that on top of the van just here make sure it's all nice and straight brilliant and then I'll do the bottom piece as well. So I'll turn this over, pop a little bit of glue just on here, and then just wipe a little bit of this excess off. And that looks fine. And then we'll pop this down here, just like that. And then pop this to one side so I don't get everything messy and then make sure it sits where we want it to sit oh that's lovely i do like those colors together as well perfect so i'll just press down gently and that is lovely right now so for the window i've used some of our vellum and i've done another project that'll be coming out in video soon and um, i had some scraps of vellum this uh, beautiful vellum that we have left over with all the script on it and i thought well i'll going to waste not want not so I'm going to use a little bit in there so it'll look like a little bit of a patterned um, window then so I'm going to just uh, trim this I use my paper snips and I'm just going to cut down there and then just literally look at the back and see what I need to cut off so I need to cut that off I think there's a little bit here if I do that there we go that looks that looks fine doesn't it so now i'm going to gently glue along the edge just at the top a little line thin as i can get it and a line just there 
and then I will, with keeping the line away from where the window is, um, I'll try to pop that just down like that. Press it gently down, and then if I turn it over, you've got a pickle over, and then you have the lovely window sheets there. That looks quite cute. So I'm going to use my tweezers again to gently glue on this. Do I want it that side or I could have it that side. No, I think I like the red, but you could do it either side you wanted to. So I will pop some dots of glue on the back and then I'll just use my mat for the same to just swoosh it around a little bit. Make sure there's not excess amounts that are going to leak out. When I glue it down, there we go, perfect, and then I'm going to line this up, so I'll try my best to do it once, oops, there we go, and that is my ribbon, gently little bunting on place so you can see just they've gone off a little bit so what I'm going to do is turn it over and I'm going to snip that tiny little bit away there you go so it's gone so when I turn it back it looks like it's uh, just on there as I would as I would hope so I'm going to now put some stamping dimensionals on the back of here I'll pop one there one up here and one down there and then we'll get ready to glue that on but first of all I'm gonna clear up my space a little bit because it's getting a bit messy now and I'm going to take this out I'm gonna put my ribbon through I'm just gonna drop it through like that and then I'm gonna hold it like this and I'll pop my chocolates back in so this way it um, looks cute but it does not interfere with the um the getting to your chocolates <laughs> which would be a disaster i think okay so i'm going to try and tie just a simple knot nothing extravagant the flatter you're not the better i'm sure there are very fancy ways to do flat knots but i'm not particularly good at those so and then i'm just going to slide this down there we go, to about there, and then I'll use my lovely paper snips and I'll just cut this at an angle. And this one at an angle. There we go. So I'll take my seam binding ribbon away. Beautiful new ribbon. And then I'm going to take the backs off my camper van of the uh, dimensionals and I'll stick my gorgeous camper van on trying to keep this pretty straight and this will sort of anchor it into place then there we go and press that down there how cute is that liking that a lot now i'm going to put on a little door uh, door handle for my beautiful little camper van so i've used these red green adhesive dots i think they're also called like the holiday adhesive dots so I could use a red, but I'm going to stick, I think, with the silver. So it coordinates with the uh, silver on the wheel trim and the um, little, little piece just here, the metal bar just there. So that is there. And then finally, I'm going to pop a sentiment on. Keep my, I'm going to keep my scissors out because the sentiment that I am using is from the Hello Ladybug because I wanted something really little, quite subtle, and I wanted something that was fun and vibrant. So I've got this It's a Good Day, which I'm going to pop in this top left corner. So I've stamped that in black ink on some scrap of white paper. So whenever I get any of my uh, basic white paper, I always keep all of the scraps, including the thin pieces for projects like this. And I'm simply going to um, just cut up here like this, straight as I can, and I'm then going to fishtail it. So I'm going to cut, that's not very straight, is it? Should we do a bit straighter? There we go. There we go. 
out and then I'm going to fishtail. So I'm going to literally cut up the middle just like this. And then I'm going to cut from the edge to the center point and I'm going to do the same here edge to center and that is the easiest way of doing a little fish tail and I'll just be popping that just there. I'm going to take off a little trim a little bit just here and then I will glue this into place. So pop a tiny few dots of glue on the back. There we go and then I'm going to turn this to me and I'll just pop this into place then and it sort of for me has that summer vibe that um, I'm looking for so there we go so these are my finished projects and this is the toffee poppets uh, wrap um, and they make great little gifts or favours for like a party, especially a summer themed party with regards to the camper van and the bunting. Um, and I like that it's a good day as well. So what I, the, the aim of this was to show you that you could use products that you might consider to be Christmas products, but create something that is summery based. Um, so this uh, tree lot dies, uh, which I got free with a qualifying order. And this was my free celebration gift that, with that order. I think they're amazing. I think they're such great um, value um, and um, you can use them definitely for Christmas. I think the you know, idea is that you pair them with the trees for sale for the Christmas theme. But I wanted you to know that you could use them as a standalone very easily to create Christmas and summer projects and I've also used the Christmas paper here or paper that you would be considering could be quite traditionally Christmas and I've just used them in alternative projects there to show you uh, their versatility really. I do hope that you have enjoyed today's project um, if you are um, would like to purchase any of the products that I've shown please do follow the links below if you don't already have a stamping up demonstrator I would be delighted if you shopped with me so um, I cover uh, you Europe so anywhere that sells in Europe uh, you're more than welcome to purchase for me I do send out thank you gifts um, and gift packs if you use uh, my host code um, and you have a qualifying order so do consider shopping with me um, I'd also really love it if you could subscribe, um, like my videos and comments, and that would be so amazing. So anyway, I'm going to say bye for now, guys, and happy crafting.